Hi everyone, welcome back to Function Pilates. I'm Vanessa Kelly, and in today's reformer workout, it's gonna be an all levels, full body, functional workout. The warm up is gonna consist of using the gondola pole. Um, for those that don't have this, you can use a broom or something that's going to create um, the length here. Uh, you don't need it, it just really helps to open up the chest while we're doing the warm up. I am working on a balanced body piece of equipment, so for those that are working on a different model at home, I will make some recommended spring settings for you for each of those exercises. And for those that are new, welcome. I have over 30 different equipment workouts here on the channel, um, a few of all different apparatuses as well. And for those that have been thinking about becoming a Pilates instructor or enhancing your Pilates practice so you can put your own workouts together, I am a master trainer and I would love to talk more about how you can get started in the course. Um, and fulfill that. Uh, for those that are more interested in opening up their own business, uh, their own Pilates studio, Function Pilates is a groundbreaking franchise registered in over 30 states, and I'm happy to provide that information to you as well. I'm gonna link everything in that description box below, including some other recommended workouts uh, similar to this one. So if you guys are ready to get started, let's go ahead and begin. Let's go ahead and begin by stretching out the chest and the shoulders. So standing hip distance apart, grab a hold of your pole and start to raise it up as high as you can go. Not overdoing it. If you have the ability to take the entire pole behind your body, go ahead and do that. But if you are limited to, to it, acknowledge and stop where it feels right for you. From here, let's do some lateral side bends, keeping your arms nice and long and straight. Focus on keeping your feet planted on the floor as you go from side to side, really opening up through the ribs here. Just continue to breathe as we open up any sticky areas in the spine. Let's take that bar behind our shoulders and try to really focus on keeping your shoulder blades connected to the pole as you rotate from left to right. Keep your chest lifted, shoulders down. Again, focus on that breath as we create circulation through the spine and through the body. From here, bring that bar out in front of you. And again, we're gonna go ahead and rotate. Try to avoid false rotation, meaning as you rotate, try to eliminate just your head turning, but really focus on your shoulders squaring as you rotate. Beautiful. Coming back through center, let's take, just take a nice little roll down here. So chin to chest and articulate the spine, just falling forward here. Scoop that belly up to restack your spine, shoulders go back. And then again, just taking a moment to articulate forward fold here. Maybe rock from side to side. Again, just taking a moment to take inventory of your body and how it feels. It's a great way to compare at the end of class. Arms are gonna go back up and let's just take a really big dive all the way around. So lateral side bend to the right, sweeping your body all the way around for movements. Let's try the other side. And this is just a great warm up to do, add it to any of your workouts, whether it's Pilates or anything else. It's a great way just to get going in the morning as well. All right, so setting that pole down, you're still hip distance. We're gonna be parallel with the feet and add in heel raises. So lifting your heels up about 10 repetitions here and trying to just project yourself up like an elevator. It's so not necessarily leaning into the pole, but think of really allowing yourself to vertically lift up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. From here, let's turn your toes, your big toes to look at one another. And again, you're exercising your ankles and your toes, creating circulation, strengthening and creating mobility as well. So another 10 here. 
and then we'll finish it with external rotation. So back to parallel and then go ahead and turn your toes outward. The heels don't necessarily need to be touching, but again, we're exercising all areas of the ankle here. Some positions might feel easier for you. Good. All right, so we don't need the pull anymore. Go ahead and just stand up nice and tall, hip distance apart here. We'll do some neck stretches. So tilt your head to the right, stretch your left fingertips towards the floor, and you should feel that in the lower part of your shoulder here. Let's do the other side. Just really stretch those right fingertips down to increase the stretch. and then tilt your head again to the right, but this time just gently pull your ear to your shoulder and then you should again reach down with your left fingertips. It might feel like you're stretching a little higher up on the neck on this one. Repeat on the other side. Beautiful, okay. So before we get started, we're gonna go right into some wrist stretches here, so for those, that can find a placement, whether it's on the floor or on a counter. Go ahead and turn your fingertips to look at you and then slightly bring your body away from your hands. So lean back and you're gonna feel the stretch immediately if you're super tight. So you know your limitations here. The second variation is flipping the top of your hand down so fingertips are still looking at you and you this is the whole, the goal here is to stretch out the wrist flexors and extensors so the ones when we're using our phone our tablets um, our mouse so that's what you're gonna feel stretching and then carefully come out of that okay so let's move it down to just one red spring or just one medium spring headrest is gonna go down flat have a seat with the legs going straight through Let's reach for those straps right above the metal buckle here. And we're gonna go right into some rollbacks. So from here as you inhale to prepare, exhale to tuck that pelvis under, scoop that belly, roll it back to your stopping point, and then take the time to restack your spine up. Good, scoop that belly, get a little stronger, get a little deeper connected to your abdominal muscles and restack. Shoulders away from those ears. Point out through those toes energetically. Restack the spine up tall. Really focus on that articulation as we increase the flexibility through your spine. Let's go ahead and lift one leg up at a time here to challenge our core. Restack the spine. Good, so just one side. So whatever leg you did, do the other side lifting up Another two and three. Restack your spine back up to the top. Beautiful. And again, lower it back down. Find that halfway position that you can maintain. We're going to alternate legs here. Good. Shoulders are down. Keep breathing. Tailbone tucked under and lift and lift and restack the spine up. Beautiful, get a stretch as you go forward. And then from here, we're just gonna go a nice little row here. So keep your elbows narrow, chest is nice and tall, and think about the work coming from the back of your body here. We're setting yourself up to open up the chest and just strengthen those back muscles. Exhale to pull and inhale to release. Grabbing hold of your handles, shoulders rolled back, take an exhale for our chest expansion. Again, those arms are long levers. You're lifting up out of the top of your head, strengthening all the postural muscles here. So all those muscles that run up and down your spine, we are strengthening them. 
just about five repetitions. Elbows in next to your ribs and going into our candlesticks. Allow this focus to be on the upper back here as we strengthen that area. Good. Roll it back once again here. Hold and then open out to a T. So getting a little bit deeper into those abs and at the same time, again, strengthening our back muscles. Beautiful job. Jaws relax and focus on your breath. Restack when you're ready. Take it down once again and then take it to bicep curls. And I'm doing about five repetitions with each of these. Again, you can pick and choose if you want to add more. Any of the exercises, any of these variations in a scooped position, feel free to do this in a sitting tall position too. Good, and come all the way up to the top. So let's go ahead and change out to our loops if you're not there already. And then once you've done that, go ahead and place that loop all the way up to your elbow joint. From this position, palms are gonna look right at you, elbows are in line with your shoulders. Take an exhale to open out those arms, like you're peeking through a window. Our goal is to really keep our back relaxed, still engaged, but not pinching the shoulder blades together. There's a difference. Good. And then take those hands together and just again, like you're going straight up like an elevator. Really feel the work developing through the shoulders as they heat and get stronger. Focus on pointing out through those toes energetically and then release it. Beautiful. Okay, so hanging those up here, I'm gonna put my headrest back up to a halfway position. We're gonna go right into footwork, so again, I'm going to actually take the footwork down a little bit lighter today. It's on two reds and a green, which is three and a quarter spring. So not really medium to heavy, but more like light to medium because we're gonna add single leg work here. So starting with heels on, both of them flex those feet in a parallel hip distance apart position. So in this double leg variation, it's just gonna feel super comfortable for you. Um, but once we hit the single leg variation, it's gonna feel like the, the, the heaviness of the springs have increased. Good. So arms are long beside you. And shoulders are down and away. And about 10 repetitions here. Then taking that left leg to tabletop, exhale, push out through that right heel. So with our single leg variation, it's really important to keep your hips balanced and focus on equal pressure in your hips. Beautiful. I'm still gonna go to 10 repetitions, but since this is heavier and it's a single leg variation, feel free to pick and choose anywhere from five to 10. Good, exhale to press out and inhale to release. Beautiful, let's do the other side. Finding your tabletop with that right leg. Pushing equally through the left heel, activating the entire leg here. Nice. Try to relax your jaw. Check in with your neck. And those shoulders are drawn down away from those ears. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and bring it down to our toes, hip distance, parallel, push on out, and bend the knees to return home. Good, try to keep your heels in a slightly elevated position to challenge strengthening through those ankles. Exhale, press, and inhale to bend. keeping those ribs knitted together. Belly button drawn down towards the floor. 
and return in. Left leg goes back into that tabletop position as we push out with our right leg. Exhale to push out and inhale to return. Really using that breath to facilitate movement, especially if things are feeling challenging for you. Nice. and let's switch it to the other side. Right leg in tabletop, take an inhale to prepare and exhale, reach on out. Think of relaxing through your hands. Palms are flat against the mat here or they're resting on top of your belly. Beautiful. Very nice, energized, active tabletop position. Perfect. And return back in. Let's go heels together, toes apart. Push on out, activate those inner thighs. Good, squeezing those heels together. Letting those knees just line up with your shoulders. As you bend the knees, and then as you exhale to straight legs, just feel the heat developing in your inner thighs as they wrap together and lift upward. And then once you're ready, let's go ahead and just stretch it out. Just take a moment to stretch out those calves. Beautiful. Let's return and come all the way back in. So let's sit ourselves back up. We're gonna change out our springs again down to one red spring or one medium spring. And then go ahead, if you have the ability to take your foot bar down all the way flat, go ahead and do that. From this position, grab a hold of your loops, bring your arms all the way up towards the ceiling taking one leg at a time into tabletop here. So it's a coordinated series. Inhale to prepare and on the exhale, curl up, bring those legs straight up, drop one leg, open out to a T, pull it back together. Drop the opposite leg, open to a T, pull it together. Tabletop and then lower your body down. Let's try that again. Exhale to lift straight up towards the ceiling. One leg drops, arms to a T, we pull everything back together. Repeating on the other side tabletop the legs, arms go back up. Exhale, up to 90 with the legs, arms to a T. With the foot bar down, it allows for a deeper challenge. So if this is too challenging for you, keep the foot bar up and then this way you know where your stopping point is. Beautiful. Release, exhale, let's flex up, shoot those legs to the sky. Drop one leg, arms to a T. Drop the other leg, arms to a T. Pull it together. You're doing really, really good. Exhale, lift up. Beautiful, inhale it down. So these are hard as it is. I'm doing about eight repetitions here. So I would suggest anywhere from four to eight and then carefully go ahead and bring it back in. Good. So as we sit ourselves up, I'm gonna stay on the same spring tension. If this is too challenging for you, I would recommend going down to a blue or a half spring. So go ahead and pick a side to choose on. And we're gonna take the loop and you're gonna go ahead and place it on the outside leg. So in my position, I'm gonna place it around the knee of my left knee. Interlace the hands behind the head to support your neck and allow your legs just to drift from right to left here. Upper body is going to stay the same, but it's like your legs are going um, like a pendulum back and forth here. 
Good. Our focus is oblique. So that's where you should really be focusing and concentrating on your obliques here. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Beautiful. Anywhere from five to 10 repetitions and then carefully go ahead and sit yourself up. Let's go ahead and take that off of our leg. Hang that loop up and we'll take it to the other side. So line yourself down carefully. Make sure your tailbone is on one side of the carriage and then your shoulder blades on the other. Again, you're not gonna be completely be supported by the carriage. Your hands are gonna support you. And once you're ready, go ahead and let those knees sway from left to right here. Doing the best to stabilize your upper body. And just remember, one side might feel more challenging than the other, and that's pretty much normal. It's just a way of the body telling you, you know, what's tighter, what's more dominant. It gives you that self-awareness. Good job. And then carefully sitting yourself back up and taking that loop off. Okay, so foot bar is gonna go back up. And then from here, headrest is all the way up. We're gonna do a sideline series. I'm still on that one red spring. If, again, this is too challenging for you for the glutes, take it down to a blue and then place the loop around the arch of your foot. Bottom leg is gonna be bent, knee towards the chest, and then go ahead and stretch out that top leg. Bring it up to the sky, and then we're gonna go for large, big circles here. So exhale to pull that leg down. Sweep it in front of you, and then back up. So it's important to keep the hips stacked here, shoulders stacked. Really puff your chest up a little bit to to really ensure proper neutral spine. And then pick what a large circle would be like for you as we open up the hips and increase mobility. Stretching those inner thighs and hamstrings. Reverse when you're ready. Anywhere from about five to 10 repetitions is perfect. Remember, this is a functional workout, so it's just really about opening up the body, setting yourself up for the day, releasing any stiff joints, but also strengthening all those important muscles in our body. And then let's finish it with small circles. So think of a tennis ball. Think of maybe a volleyball and outline that circle. Keep your leg energized as you point out through the toes and then reverse it. So yes, the focus is also gonna be the glutes. You should feel this in your butt heating up if you're not already. Good job. And then return and come back in. So if you need to take a stretch there, Go ahead and take a figure four or however it feels good to stretch out your glutes. And then let's go ahead and continue on the other side. So restack your shoulders and your hips. Place that loop around the arch of your foot. Once you're ready, push out to a straight leg and allow it to come up towards the ceiling. Good. Exhale, we're gonna go ahead and pull straight down, float it in front of you, and sweep it up and around. Try to relax your head and your shoulders. And feel free to prop up your head with any pillows or towels. I meant to mention that earlier. Good. Keep those abs in nice and strong. Reverse when you're ready. So our abs are working as a team with our low back here, stabilizing our pelvis. Beautiful. Our breath is helping to create circulation in the body and just relax those muscles. 
so we don't create any extra tension when it's not necessary. Nice. And then find those small tennis ball or volleyball circles here going one direction. And then once you've hit your number, you'll go ahead and reverse it. Take your time with it, not rushing through. Take a break if you need to, but it's all about maintaining the integrity of your form. And then let's go ahead and bring it in. All right, hanging that loop up, go ahead and turn to your back. We're gonna go into a spinal articulation exercise. So we're heading into semicircle. So what you'll do is you're gonna go ahead, lie on your back and scoot your body all the way down. So your arms are completely straight. I can't emphasize that enough. So hold on to those shoulder blocks. Elbows are straight. You're gonna start in a bridge position. Toes are on. And then from here, you can go ahead and slowly articulate the spine. You're gonna lower yourself down into the well. Your tailbone's gonna tap the springs and let it just breeze on by as you pelvic curl back up. If toes are too hard, go up to your heels, but really focus on the articulation as we stretch the spine. We're strengthening those hips and those hamstrings. Close those ribs, use your abs to elevate your hips. Beautiful. And I would say anywhere from three to five in each direction. Reverse when you're ready. Sweep your tailbone across, pelvic curl back up. Press out, lower the hips into the well. Good. As you keep pressing away from the shoulder blocks, drop those shoulders down, relax your neck. Just focusing on the movement here. And return all the way back up. Beautiful. So from here, just slide your body back into the headrest and shoulder blocks and return the carriage. Okay, so from here, let's go ahead and you can stay on the red spring or you can add um, a quarter of a spring or a blue spring, so a yellow or a blue, just to increase the weight a little bit. And then we're going to set ourselves up for arabesque. So three quarters of the way on the shoulder blocks, hands are on the foot bar. Let's go ahead and take our right leg out to the side, send it up to the sky. So shoulders are squared. You're gonna slowly push out with your left leg, stabilizing your upper body, really lifting and reaching out through that right leg and use your abs to emphasize the pull of the carriage in. Yes, shoulders down, keep breathing. And let's go anywhere from four to eight repetitions here and then carefully return and come back in. Good, left leg goes out to the side and then keep that leg lifted, keep reaching up towards the ceiling, shoulders down Small movements as you push that carriage out and then pull it in with your abs. Good. You got it. So it's a lot of your own body weight here, so that's why if you need to add more springs, feel free to do that. And then carefully, let's come back down. Beautiful job. Okay, step your right foot forward onto the ledge in front of that foot bar. Let's go in for a nice kneeling lunge here. So pat under your knee if you need to, pushing out with that left knee just slightly. Chest is lifted to feel that hip flexor and that quad stretch. When you're ready, push it out to a hamstring stretch. So hips are square, arms are long. And return back in. Let's try that again. Good. So pushing your hips forward. And then from here, let's encourage right hip back, left hip forward. All right, 
Take it to the other side, so the left foot steps forward. It's supported by the foot bar here. Push out slightly with your right knee as you push your hips forward. Chest is lifted, so try to not round your spine. It's just gonna really help to feel that stretch in your hip flexor. And then when you're ready, take your hamstring stretch. Again, left hip is back, right hip is forward with this hamstring stretch. Breathing into it. And I would say anywhere from two to three repetitions of each variation here. And then let's go ahead and take that foot bar down all the way flat. Once again, I'm still on the same springs. I haven't changed anything. From this position, go ahead, stabilize your upper body and then just push out with your lower body. So push that carriage out from underneath you, using your abdominals to pull in. So it's a very controlled movement. Beautiful. Then from here, stay out in that kneeling plank and then let's drag our body in for the inhale. Exhale to push out, inhale to pull in. So for a more challenging variation, the less springs is gonna be your own body weight, the more springs is gonna assist you with this exercise. Beautiful. And then go ahead and push back. Nice. Okay, so on this next exercise, I went down to a yellow, which is our lightest spring here. Carefully step into the back of the reformer into the well. Separate your legs so that you can see your feet on the outside of the wooden frame. Headrest is down flat. Bring your body all the way to the back of the reformer and then reach for those pegs in front of you. Let's start with our eyesight down. Slowly begin to breathe and restock your spine up using your abs, using your back muscles. This is not an arm exercise. Our goal is to create thoracic extension here. So back extension. Think of like a high back release here as you open your chest really proudly and then carefully releasing forward. So it's a light spring. There's not a resistance here because I want to encourage that we're using our own body Beautiful. So think Pilates mat exercise, spine stretch four. That's exactly what we're doing here. Nice. And it's so important to take this with the control and intention to feel the movement. Nice. Restack here and slowly let's pull those elbows in, not super fast. Stabilizing in that tall seated position. Breathing at your own comfortable pace. Beautiful job. Carefully releasing your body forward. Set that carriage back to the stopper and assist yourself out of the, ref of the well. Awesome work. Let's finish it with a couple roll downs. Hip distance apart, sweep those arms up, roll yourself into a forward fold Check in with your body, how it's feeling since the beginning of the class. Shoulders roll back one more time. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the functional workout. If you did like it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and feel free to leave me a comment. And I will see you next time.